it's Carter Sports back. And today, we head down to Alabama for a big time defense alignment. So let's go. And if you've been here before, can you please hit that like, please? And if you ain't subscribed, boy, you better subscribe. Disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And turn into the chat. We got a beast. Malik Autry, a 6'5 and a half, 325 pound defense alignment out of Alabama for the 2025 class. Ready to four star on all compasses. This kid is being recruited hard by Florida. He commit to Auburn, but the likes of Florida, USC, Florida State. And Georgia is on this kid's bumper trying to secure a commitment, trying to snatch him out the hands of Auburn because this kid a beast. In junior season, he had 56 tackles, 9 tackles for loss, and 3.5 and sacks. But when he really shot up the ranks when he went to these Rising Stars camp and playing against the best players in the nation, signing, basically being unblockable in one-on-one -on -one settings with the best offense alignment in the country. He was a tough ask for any offense alignment he matched up against during one-on-ones. Autry is efficient and purposeful with his hands and showcased on a few occasions the ability to use opposing linemen's momentum against them to redirect and quickly get upfield to the quarterback. The 247 Sports Scouting team was already excited about Autry's long term upside, consider he stacks up as the number 98 player. But it seems like with his performance recently, this kid is about to rise. You hear me? His size is really hard to find, but the athleticism you can't teach as well. Kid is very athletic for his size. You don't think a 6'5 and 325 pound defense alignment should move around like he move around. So when you put that together, that size and athleticism combination, here's a guy that's gonna play on the even front. He can play the one tech or the three tech. I love the position versatility, and I know De'Anton Lynn is gonna love it as well. He's an ascending prospect. He didn't have the greatest production last year, only three and a half sacks, but I expect a big, a big senior season from him, and I think Auburn's gonna have to do a lot of work to keep him in the boat as well, because these top-notch school is on his bumper. Having watched Autry come out of his stance in the 40-yard dash, how he moved in the hoop drill, and the way Autry could bend his knees and fire towards his opponent, all those qualities led to the following moment when it became obvious that he was headed towards to be becoming a big-time defense alignment in the nation. Know what I'm talking about? His ability to be a pass rusher cemented the point that he significantly, significantly elevated his game. When pass rushing, Autry accomplished something else that's rare. He displayed the ability to move laterally at the snap off the ball and quickly defeat the offense alignment. When a 320 pound defensive tackle can create an interior pass rush almost immediately, a defense has all but won that play. There's no design counter to the quarterback having a massive human being right in the view of his passing lanes. Plus, he about to get level. 
Overall, Archer did a really good job of being a hard changing defensive tackle who could make plays behind the line of scrimmage. He was consistent doing his Under Armour camp performance. So indeed, Archery has taken the steps to be one of the most disruptive defensive tackle recruits in the country. And then in Armour Armour Atlanta was the proving ground where he proved that he's here. Y'all better take a look at he finna cause wreck. He gonna cause damage. You hear me? It's gonna be interesting to follow this young man through his senior season. Expect him to come out and dominate. Might elevate to a five-star status. So big athletic dudes like this don't grow on trees, you hear me? So we gotta snatch him. Malik Archer, we got we gotta snatch a defensive lineman like this. 6'5, 320, moving around like he a safety or a linebacker. What you mean? Power and athleticism? What you mean? Man, Eric Henny gonna have a field day with a kid like this. He come to SC, he a first round NFL draft pick already. 17 years old and he's 6'5", 320. Well, we got defense alignment on our team right now that we pushing to get up to 320. I don't even think Bear 320. You know what I'm talking about? So this a beast, this a monster. This a monster. Watch this kid highlight, he don't look 320, huh? He 320 moving around like that. He 320 moving around like that. This is what we need, size and speed. We got speed, but we ain't got to sacrifice size. You know what I'm saying? So no matter what the defense running, we own it. Running up the middle, he own it. Sideline to sideline, he own it. Getting to the quarterback, Malik Autry is on it. You hear me? So USC throwing a party June 7th. And this one of the kids, man. This one of the kids that's coming. He coming with several other kids, too. This one is nice. This one is who we looking for. This one who we got the bag for. This is what you stash the bag for. Players like this. Players like this gonna win you a national championship. You know what I'm saying? So until then, it's your boy Carter Sports. It's USC. It's Trojan City. So let's go.